hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we will be covering one more topic from uh, karate framework we all know uh, in cucumber we have scenario and scenario outline right so in which all cases we will be writing this we will be making use of uh, scenario outline in our feature files when you want to run your test using data driven approach or uh, when you want to run the same scenario multiple times for different set of data in, th in those cases and all you will be writing scenario outline in your feature file right so the same concept can be implemented in karate framework also we will see how we can achieve those so i'll be explaining the cucumber way approach and the karate way using the same just in this video so let's start <laughs> First, let me create a new feature file for uh, data driven test. I'm copying the data from uh, one of the post request file. The moment it's ignore tag and this is it data driven test and so this is a, a dummy rest api example it's a site where you can get uh, some uh, sample rest apis uh, for your testing purpose so i'll be making use of this post call and if you click on this details tab you'll be able to see the details uh, the payload that you have to pass and the final results you can Copy this JSON payload. Instead of this, I can give this data and then method post, and this is 200. Okay, and for now, I don't want this line. Now I need to give the REST API URL. So URL is this one. But I'm not giving the full path over here. Instead, I can give it in the scenario using path. Let me just run this. So if you want, you can first uh, write, uh, if you, uh, you can first uh, test this uh, scenario using postman and then start writing in your feature file okay if you first time doing this this is pass now and now uh, we'll come to our uh, data driven approach so in data driven approach we will be having an example sections over here and here it's true scenario there will be an outline right I don't want to hard code uh, my input's name, salary and age. So I can give it in the example section. For example, this data, I can give it here. And instead of this, I can give any name. And this same name should be, I mean the same variable name should be put it here as well similarly salary and age also this salary should be here and next is age and age is 23 okay now let's run this uh, but I can see one error over here number seven okay I need to put a colon over here fine I'll run this
see we are uh, passing all the name salary and age values from the example section and the data uh, so uh, and the test card passed so this is a cucumber uh, way of uh, approach that passing the data from the example section to scenario outline using the variable uh, key value pair right let's go to the request section here you are able to see name test salary age 123 age 23 right that means this name value it's been taken from this example section right and the salary 123 and age is 23 so if there is any issue or if there is any failure come up uh, comes in uh, your uh, feature file while running the test you can just uh, refer this section if this calls all the calls are uh, going without any issue and all right here you can see the request key i mean the post call which you are and the recent payload also if you are coming up with any issue this is this is the section you should mainly refer to and now we will go to some advanced feature so you can see uh, in the case and payload you we are passing name salary and age fields only only three fields right but in the response we are able to see name salary age and id that means an id is also getting created so uh, what if uh, if you request a get call with this particular id we should be getting the details of this user right because the this data is already created with the particular id 68 so if you are requesting with the 68 so that uh, data corresponding to this particular id should be retrieved right so let's uh, do a get call now given path so till com it's same and we'll go to this side so uh, get call is this one right employee and we have we know the id value also we can take up to this given part and method get then status 200 and we'll print our response Okay, this examples should be in the below. Okay. And now see the ID, the ID value is hard coded here, oneness, but we don't want one, right? The ID, whatever uh, whatever the ID value generated from this uh, request or uh, from this response, we just want to make use of that ID only. No other IDs, right? So how to give that? For that, you can first store your uh, result or response in some variable. I will store it in uh, result variable and in the response data. Okay. So now I want in the response, I have this ID value inside the data JSON, right? Okay. So how to pass that plus result dot data dot id then when method get status 200 and finally the we are printing the response so now let's try running so we got the response okay let me change it to response one and two so this is the first response id equal to 47 and when we hit the get call with the id equal to 47 we got the employee details right so this is how you can store the value of a variable from the response and using it in the upcoming features or upcoming scenarios right Now we will see, I want to uh, check whether the ID present in the response, that ID now it's generated 93, okay. The ID generated in the response equal, is equal to the ID that I am passing from the uh, URL, right. So this data, whether that is equal to this value that is 
present in the so i want to validate that so how to do that we will see so in order to assert something or in order to match something we can make use of any karate assertion score so i am making use of uh, contains keyword now and match so he, here you can see id value is inside data right not just uh, in the first level of uh, response structure so it is inside the data so i have to make use of uh, and match response to dot data contains here you can pass id and here you need to pass the id value but how to pass this id value that first put a cards and then a hash and inside the bracket try it running now okay uh, now let's go to our karate way of approach in the data driven of uh, concept so in the data uh, in the karate framework uh, uh, in data driven approach what we are doing is we are creating a dynamic table in some file in some external file and we'll read that uh, data from that file and we'll be making use of that in our feature file so the table i can create using a csv file so let me create a csv file um, input data dot csv and i can give uh, all the inputs that are name salary and age name salary So all the data name, uh, salary and age value will be taken from this CSV file and we will be running our feature file. And now we have to read our uh, CSV file. For that remove all the lines from the example section and we just need to uh, read that uh, CSV file. Let us uh, run this file now. Okay, all the values are taken from the CSV file, right? You can see in the request section. So this is the request, the JSON payload. So all the values are taken from the CSV file. So this is the karate way of approach in the data driven concept. So I'll be coming with some other uh, feature in my next video. If you have liked this video, please like, comment and share. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. So thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.